first thing you want to do, measure your ring. We're going to go down to a three quarter right here. So I'm going to grab my marker size. Go to a quarter. I'm going to hold it in your hand. Make a firm cut, firm mark. Use the saw. Okay, next step, we're gonna close this gap. Now I'm gonna use my ring forming pliers to bend the ring shank to close the gap. Get it as close as you can. Now we're gonna just kind of tap on it. Close the gap. There we go. Gap's closed. All right, uh, we have our mounting all cut. We're gonna put in the laser and start our sizing. Okay, when we're doing a sizing, you wanna make sure that you have a nice flush um, cut. You want to make sure that you're you're overlapping your welds as you go 360 all the way around the piece. Trick is to not move too fast. If you miss if you move too fast when you're doing this, um it's going to create little pockets. Um on the inside, which are gonna be brittle. So super important that you don't move too fast when you're doing it. Okay, so now to add our wire. We are gonna use 19 karat white wire, which is a higher carotid metal. It's gonna help prevent pitting and porosity. We're gonna lower our spot size for deeper penetration into the metal. Right here in the curvature, you want to make sure that you add extra material because when you're going to prep out, you don't want it to have a little dip. Okay. Make sure that everything looks good. It's a good practice to hold the wire like a pin and you want to fire right in front of the wire, heating up the metal and you're going to feed your wire to the heat. Okay, you don't want to hit directly on the tip of the wire because all it's going to do is make it ball up. And when, when it balls up like that, it'll cause pits. So now I'm going to blend it by raising my spot size larger. I'm going to go all the way around. Smooth it all up. like to do a little zigzag just to make sure. Okay, so now you would take it from here, round it out and prep as normal. I'm gonna prep it out using 320 grit. I'm gonna try and turn it so y'all can see. Want it nice and smooth on the inside. See, See where I'm falling? Okay, now I need to round it out. Put it on here. You want it to fall right, right above the three-quarter line. I'm going to finish prepping it out. I'm 
Now I'm going to file it. Smooth the outside. Just blend the metal. Very light pressure. Just reshaping the shank. Careful not to create any, any flat spots. Now we're going to go with a stick. 230 grit. To just dress the bottom a little bit better. And we're going to come with the finer grit, 1000 grit. There we go. Ready for polish. See the description below for the links to purchase the tools featured in this video and check out the full schedule of hands-on trainings offered at Stellar.